The Alberta oil sands also came up in last night's interview with Obama, and that had people in the province listening and reacting today. The Alberta oil sands, a major economic driver of Alberta and Canada. But what an image. Just yesterday, an ad in a national U.S. newspaper slammed the oil sands for producing the dirtiest oil on earth. Bring on right now a person who's going to be very busy for the next 48 hours, and that's Jim Prentice, Minister of the Environment. Thanks very much for being here. Nice to be on your show. So getting some heat uh, publicly in the United States. Anyway, I don't know if we've got it on uh, on graphic or not, but in USA Today, the newspaper yesterday, there was a full page ad. Uh, you can see it there on the monitor. Uh, urging President Obama to get tough with us. As you can see, they're talking about the oil sands as being one of the worst forms of energy in North America. Well, and I think we've heard the President speak about this, uh, about the technological challenges of energy security. In the United States, uh, you know, he's challenged the American people on clean coal. Said, hey, we can put a man on the moon, we can deal with clean coal. Similarly in Canada, clean oil is, is part of our challenge. From war to the economy, there will be no shortage of things to discuss when Barack Obama makes his first foreign trip as president to Canada two days from now. Who won't have the chance to speak to Obama do have opinions on what the two leaders should discuss. From citizens and environmental groups to natives, two tribes from near the oil sands took out this full-page ad in the USA Today asking Obama to pressure Canada to clean up what they call the dirtiest oil on earth. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Ottawa. And we'll have live coverage across the global network when the new U.S. president...